Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. Okay, this time I'll be showing you how to root the brand new Moto G6. So, um, there's only one requirement for this. You will need to unlock the bootloader first before doing this, um, or else it won't work. You do need an unlocked bootloader. So if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, I'll leave a link to my simple tutorial in the description down below. Be sure to go follow that video, unlock your bootloader, then come back to this video to root the device okay um before we start i'm just gonna say make sure you back up any important files any important videos pictures telephone numbers whatever because doing this will wipe the device totally clean so just make sure you back up anything that you think is important to you because like i said it's going to wipe the phone totally clean so anyway now i'm just going to take you through the whole routing process so first things first head on to the link in the description down below and it will take you to this page here and here you'll need to download the minimal ADB and fastboot so just scroll down and click on this link here download version 1.4.3 I've already downloaded it so once you've downloaded it just save it to your desktop so I've got it here on the desktop so I'm just going to install it yes next I accept the agreement next and by default it's going to install to the C program files x86 so hit next next again next install finished okay so now let's just go to the C drive just to double check that it's installed so C drive, program files x86, minimal ADB and fast boot, there it is. So it's installed. Okay, next you'll need to download these files. You will need to download the Moto G6 Ali TWRP. You'll also need to download Let's see which one this is. The XT192560 no Verity boot file. You'll also need to download the Force, Encry Force Encryption Disabler for Oreo and also Magisk's V16.7. So you can download all these from this link I'm going to leave in the description down below. It's going to take you to this XDA page here. So I just want to say all credits to DJello for bringing us this guide on how to root the Moto G6. If it wasn't for him, we would not have a root right now. So all credits to him. So like I said, I'm going to leave a link to this thread in the description down below. Be sure to hit the like button on his thread. Give it a like. Okay, so here you can download all the files what I just showed you. So let's have a look for the download links. So scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Okay, so here's Magisk. Not Magisk, sorry. Here's TWRP. So just click on this link here and download TWRP and save it to your desktop. Then you'll need to download the boot image for your device. So you have to download it for your model number. So my model number is XT19254. I tried this one earlier but it didn't work. The only one that works for the XT19254 for me was this one here for XT19256 so if you try this one and it doesn't work for your XT19254 I recommend trying this one because like I says I've got the XT19254 but it didn't work so I used this one instead for XT19256 so to find your model number on the back of the device down here at the bottom there's a sticker look on the sticker and you will see your model number if you don't have a sticker on the back of your device I'll show you what to do 
to find your model number just keep watching the video okay so like I said just download the one for your model number and save it to your desktop then scroll down a little bit more and you're going to download this force encryption disabler so just click on that link and download that as well and then scroll down again keep scrolling down in fact wait scroll up I mean we need to find the Magisk, where is it? Okay, so keep scrolling up to step 14 and download the Magisk beta. So just click on that link there and click on download and it should then automatically start to download Magisk. Once it's downloaded, save it to your desktop. So these are all the things you should have on the desktop TWRP the no verity boot for your model number the force encryption and also my disks so one two three four files you should have on your desktop okay so next connect your phone to the USB cable like I've already done We need to access the SD card. Transfer files. SD card and just drag and drop those two zip files onto your SD card the force encryption disabler and also the Magisk's root file and then you can just go ahead and close that down okay next go back to the C drive program files x86 minimal ADB and fastboot and just put those other two files in there hit continue so no verity boot and also the TWRP file okay so next just unplug your phone and power it off Now we're going to put it into fast boot mode, so to do that just press in between the volume up and down button and the power button. So just keep both of them pressed down for about 5 seconds until it takes you to this screen here. Just use the volume down button and go to where it says that. Okay, so now just find a blank space here in the minimal ADB and fast boot. Find a blank space and you're gonna press shift on your keyboard and you're gonna right click on your mouse. So I'm just gonna put down the camera and do that. So shift on your keyboard, right click on your mouse, and it'll bring up this box. Select open command window here okay so now just go back to your instructions and we're going to run the command to flash twrp Okay, so fast boot flash recovery. Okay, so just highlight this and select copy. Okay, so connect the phone. 
to the USB. Just like that. And then just paste that command into the window there. And then hit enter. Okay. You can just minimize that window there. Minimize this as well. Okay, so let's go back to the instructions. Okay, so if Next, you're just going to highlight this fast boot, flash boot. And remember, we're still in minimal ADB and fast boot. So you're just going to find a blank space again, press shift and right click on your mouse again until it brings up that window like what we did before. Select open command window here. And you're just going to paste fast boot flash boot into there, press space. Let me just move this little black window out of the way. And while still in minimal ADB and fast boot, just gonna highlight this no very boot image. Select rename. Select copy. Go back to the little black window. Remember to put a space after boot and then paste that into there and then put dot img at the end and hit enter okay so now on the device just use the volume down button on the side and go to where it says recovery mode and then hit the power button to enter the recovery mode Select cancel, swipe to allow modification. Okay, so select install, select storage, and this you can see it's not reading the internal storage there. So just go ahead and hit back and then select wipe and just do a factory wipe and it should then read it. As you can see now it can read the internal storage and the micro SD. So now just select the micro SD, hit OK and select false encryption disabler and swipe to confirm flash. And then hit my disks. Swipe to confirm flash. And 
and then reboot system. Okay, so we have to go through the whole setup again because it's wiped the device clean. So let me just put in my Wi Fi password. Okay, so this device was reset to continue. You need to sign in with a Google account that was previously synced on this device. So just sign in using your previously used Google account. Let me just do that real quick. Okay, so now we're in. Let's have a look and see if my disks, there it is. Okay, so let's just go to the Play Store. Okay, so it's downloading a few things here. Guys, I could skip the video and um, make it a bit shorter, but I want, I don't really like to do that because people like to complain and say it didn't work for them. So I like to show everything from beginning to end just to show that this definitely does work.
Okay, so everything should have almost all done. So four applications to install. <coughs> If you want, you can skip this part. Okay, so, right, we're done. Okay, so just type in root checker. And you should see it right there at the top, root checker. Just go ahead and install it. And open it up. Select agree. Verify root. Select grant. And it should then say congratulations root access is properly installed on this device. So yeah, your Moto G6 is now rooted. And you have TWRP installed. If you want to get back into TWRP at any point, just power off the device. And just remember, press in between the volume up and down button and the power button. Keep them both held down for about five seconds until you see this screen here. And then use the volume down button and go down to where it says recovery mode and then press the power button to enter the recovery. And it will bring you back into TWRP recovery. Swipe across to allow modifications and from in here you can do whatever you want. You can do a factory reset, you can back up, you can restore um, and all that good stuff. If you want to install any ROMs, you just place the ROMs on your SD card and do a factory reset. After you've done the factory reset, just install the ROM by selecting install, locating the ROM zip, install it, and then just hit reboot once it's finished installing. So yeah, I'm just going to reboot the system. You can also reboot back to the bootloader, reboot the recovery. I'm just going to boot back into the system. So yeah guys, this was my tutorial video showing you how to root the Moto G6 2018 model. Um, if later on down the line you want to unroot the device and put the stock original firmware back onto your phone, um, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to do that. Once I've done the tutorial, I will link it in the description of this video. Yeah. Be sure to hit this thumbs up button. If you get stuck with anything, just let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give the video a like. Thanks, it's your boy the Android Doctor. Oh yeah, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I upload a video. It's your boy the Android Doctor. I'm out, deuces.